In the search for two marine helicopters and its crew in Hawaii, the Coast Guard has officially ended the active search as of sunset January 19th. This decision comes after five days of constant searches across more than 44,000 square miles. The Coast Guard's District 14 Chief of Staff, Captain Jim Jenkins, said the decision was a difficult one. The decision to suspend this case, the searches, is very difficult. We have not found the survivors, and this has a significant scope and impact, stopping our search efforts. I know I speak for the entire Coast Guard when I say our thoughts and prayers are with Marine Corps Helicopter Squadron 463, and particularly with families and loved ones of those missing. The Marine Corps will now lead the recovery and salvage operations for the 12 Marines and their CH-53E Super Stallion helicopters with the help of the U.S. Navy's salvage ship Salver. They have located the wreckage roughly two miles off the Oahu coast in 375 feet of water. Brigadier General Russell Sanborn, the commanding general of 1st Marine Aircraft Wing, said the Marine Corps will continue to be faithful to the families of those involved. Basically, we are huddling around them. I think the best course of action is let them know that we love them, let them know that we're there to support them, and just understand their needs and how we can support that. Four Marine pilots and eight enlisted crew members were aboard the helicopters when the nighttime training incident occurred. An investigation into the incident has started. Lance Corporal Nathan Cray, Okinawa, Japan.